So sometimes you get windy days, all that stuff. And when it blows, it likes to fall and hit the ground. So when you lose, when you do that, your reel can chip up. You got your ceramic eyes there going on. And then you also got a problem with people walking by and not seeing it and stepping on your rod. What the buck is up? Hope you're having a buck and outrageous day. So today, we're back on the Detroit River. So today we're gonna do a little something different. The senior guys have your rods fall on the ground, cross the rail, hitting the ground, losing your ceramic eyes, damaging your reels, chips, all that stuff. You know, I hate seeing you guys pay a lot for these rods and come down here and just get them all worked up and all smashed up while they're hitting the ground. People can walk on and step on them while they hit the ground and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to protect your rods. No more ceramic eyes breaking. No more hitting the ground, no more chips, scrapes, or anything on your reels. So when you have those expensive reels, there's no more. All right, let's do this. So here, we got a dive with Tatula. You know, for say a moderate rod, moderate, moderate rod, I paid, uh, you know, I got it actually as a gift. But in real to retail price, you know, it might cost a little bit of a buck. So, drop my rod sock off now. Now, most of the time when you guys fish and you guys go to net somebody's fish or you're taking a break or something like that, a lot of you guys like to just, just leave it on the rail like this. So sometimes you get windy days, all that stuff. And when it blows, it likes to fall and hit the ground. So when you, lose, when you do that, your reel can chip up. You got your ceramic eyes there going on. And then you also got a problem with people walking by and not seeing it and stepping on your rod. So, this is how you get rid of it. So what I like to do here is I learned this from a buddy of mine. Z, thank you for this trick. You've been saving a lot of reels. You're gonna save a lot of people's lives. So you take your rod, lean it on the rail, just like that. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your jig Just wrap it on the rail, just like that. Now, no matter what condition it is, you cannot push that rod over. That's as far as it goes. That's it. So I hope that helps you guys out right there. Protect your rods, protect your reels. That's how I do mine. All right, guys, enjoy. All right, guys, gonna end my episode there. That's how you guys take care of your rods. Hope you guys try that out. If you guys do try that out, tell me how it works out for you guys. I just hate seeing the rods hit the ground and stuff like that. Broken ceramic eyes, chipped reels. You know how it does. Those damages cost you money. It's like having a car accident. Anyway, guys, enjoy that episode. Save your rods. I'll catch you on the next one.